What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm Nary Dennis T and if you guys first time here or even though it's not your first time here, please don't forget to hit that like button you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Also check the description down below you guys where you can see good deals to everybody to watch and support this channel. For the do you guys we're gonna go compare this Jordan 3 J Balvins from Kiku with my retail right here because we're gonna go check the boxes first between the retail and Kiku. This is the Kiku box right here and this is my retail box right here. I'm gonna go straight to it and tell, tell you guys what's the difference that I see as you guys can see on the CD that's imprinted on the sleeve is more detailed look compared to the one by Kiku. Um, it's still there but it's not as detailed comparing to the retail right here as you guys can see you can definitely see the buildings and all that comparing to the kiku is there but it's not as detailed so that's on the sleeve the sleeve both of the sleeve comes with the plastics now the sleeve on kiku is very slim and flimsy comparing to the retail is more of a dark and more solid feel of uh, sleeve bottom one comes with the plastic that covers the sleeve so let's check out but the main difference is the kiku sleeve is very slim and flimsy while the retail is more dark and more solid of a feel so in terms on the on the tag on the sizes is pretty much the same you guys but the main difference between the two boxes of this one is the graving on the elephant printing on the retail you guys is more of uh, it's popping more it's more of a detailed look comparing to the kiku is basically just printed in there um, it doesn't really pop out comparing it to the retail the retail is more of a it's it's a 3d feel on the retail Comparing it to the Kiku, this one you can feel the groove on the retail pair. The feel is this is more of a skinnier paper. Comparing it to the retail, the retail is more of a thicker paper that they use. So you see it's all white on the back. While Kiku is pretty much see through. So that's the difference between the paper. One, two, three boom pretty cool looking shoe you guys i'm gonna take this one out put it side by side with the kiku and see if there's a difference between these two and the kiku joints so we can now compare the two shoes that i got from kiku and my retail pair of the j bovin jordan 3 so i'm gonna take one of each shoe right here and get a closer look for you guys all right you guys so this is this is the retail pair that i got the jordan 3 j bobbins right here very nice back end give you guys a quick 360 look and also i'm gonna give you guys the kiku pair and give you guys another quick 360 look on this joints right here Compare it side by side if you guys can see any difference between the two. You guys let me know down in the comment you guys if you guys can see any difference between the two shoe that I have right now. Here I gotta give you a different angle to really see the difference between the Kiku and the retail pair that I have in here side by side. Now you guys can see on a tag there's a big difference already on the on the retail pair. The tag is more of a it's like a solid plastic that I cut off and make it the yellow color of the smiley comparing it to kiku kiku is a painted yellow on the smiley hang tag for me you guys is the elephant 
printing you guys this is more of the og cut which is more thick and high comparing it to the retail you guys you guys can see the retail is very slim comparing it to kiku as way up here now we all know on these ua pairs they always have issue with the elephant printing and also on the sign as you guys can see on the toe the elephant printing on kiku is more thick comparing it to the retail is is very nice and slim but they do get the tumble leather on overall you guys have both of them has pretty much the same feel even this tongue right here and check the jump man they do got it down the jump man you guys so and also the biggest take between the in the retail and kiku is the color of the outsole and this is my retail pair right here this is Kiku, as you guys can see, the outsole is more of a bluish or color comparing it to the retail, you guys, it's more of a milky color outsole. It's more of a white on the Kiku comparing it to the retail. So that's the biggest difference between these two shoes right here. Big difference is the the pink or the red area of this part right here now the retail is more of a darker red or pink while the, the kiku is more of a light pink color so that's the biggest difference it's more darker on the retail and more light on the kiku pair you guys on this angle right here you can really see the difference between the cut on the two jordan trees between how slim and nice the retail is comparing it to the kiku i don't even know if it's a straight angle or not but it's super thick comparing it to the retail you guys and you guys can see the stitching also very nice and even Kiku right here is some are small, some are big, and you can basically see the stitching comparing it to the retail. You guys, it's nice and even, and you can really see that it's there. Now on this stitching too right here is more of a, the stitching is inside the midsole and this one is more of a, it's more popping out but that's pretty much minor hard to really uh, see it but once you see it it's there and it's hard to detect too on if you only have this pair right here and have without the authentic pair with you but overall this is the elephant printing you guys the retail is more of a skinnier nicer cut and the kiku is more of the almost like the og cut thicker and long that's a difference between the two one thing to know too this is the insole for the retail has this like a satin feel and this one right here is the kiku it's pretty much same feel the printing is pretty much accurate i like this font size that they use it's pretty much accurate Insole looking good on the Kiku, you guys. Now, once again, that this is the retail. Retail has more shinier feel, and this one is just pretty much just like a regular rubber from Kiku, you guys. So that's also one of the, one of the big difference between the two. So make sure you always check your insole. This could be one of the good indicator. And this is the inside of the retail. I show you guys the inside of the kiku stitching in there is pretty nice they do got the, the insole pretty good this is the kiku um tag font is looking good 
and this is the retail pair pretty much the same font everything so that's good right here and now this is the they have this material down to on the kiku comparing it to the retail pretty much the same you guys but because of the new buck on this side is pretty much different different color comparing it to the retail and the kiku you guys so you guys can see the retail is more of a brownish color while kiku is more of a grayish of a color well like what i always say before you guys um there's always space for the replica or the ua pair you can use this as your use and abuse however what you want to call it and save your retail pair for some special occasions keeping it fresh and new or even for uh resale value but we all have different opinions about it let me know you guys what's your opinion between the kiko brand and the retail so i hope you guys learned something on the difference between the retail pair and also the kiko pair you guys let me know what you guys think is it close enough or is far like it's a big don't know so this is basically their god killer batch and there's big difference so summary is the outsole is different color the printing on the midsole is different color you guys and the stitching is different but overall the letter on the top the shoelace the tongue is on point insoles is on point all right that's it for me for today's video you guys thank you for watching i really appreciate it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe you guys and also check the description down below to see some good deals